another video for you guys today and I am so so excited to be filming this video like I'm literally so jittery right now because I absolutely love this time of year and filming these videos if you guys can't already tell by the title this is going to be the first installment in my yearly back to school series that I do every single year if you guys have been following me on my channel for a while or at least for the last couple of years you probably know that I do back to school videos every single year and it is a quite a popular segment here on my channel that you guys really seem to love and you guys seem to request every single year if you didn't see my poll from a few days ago, I asked you guys if you would like to see my back to school series once again and per usual I always like to kick off the back to school series usually with my annual emergency kit for girls video You guys know I've done these videos for years I try to change the kit every year and add some stuff as I kind of get older and I find like some more things that I might need in my kit But anyways with all that being said, thank you guys so much for stopping by my channel and taking time to watch this video If you are not already subscribed click that subscribe button down below and make sure to turn on my notifications so you can be notified whenever I post a new video for this back to school series if you guys are interested in following that and without further ado I'm way too excited to get into this video so let's go ahead and get started Alrighty, so first off I'm going to show you guys my actual emergency kit in the bag that I actually used to put everything in now you guys know if you've been watching me for a while usually every year I'll use an ipsy bag and one of the years previous I think I used this bag I bought this one from Target I've tried to use so many bags for my emergency kit but I just found that this one like the depth of it and the size I like how like it's really wide on the bottom so I can store like a lot of stuff on the bottom and kind of build my way to the top because I found sometimes with the ipsy bags yeah you might be able to put a lot of stuff in there but then it's hard to like zip up and I wanted one obviously that would zip up so nothing would like fall out in my bag so I got this one from Target you could probably get one at like TJ Maxx or Marshalls or Amazon really you can get a kit wherever if you don't like already have a bag at home but what I usually try to do every Every year for my emergency kits is just find a bag that I already have at home because it's convenient for me. So the first thing that I have in my emergency kit because I obviously do wear makeup now I don't wear makeup every day but this is nice to have in my kit on the days that it's either really hot and sweaty and I'm oily a lot which I do have combination skin so this is nice for me but um I keep my cover effects mini setting powder this is what it looks like you guys can get this at the cash wrap at either an Ulta or Sephora I normally get mine from Sephora um, but on the inside I also just keep a mini Kat Von D velour puff because I just like to blot my oil off usually if I don't have an oil blotting sheet because usually what I'll do is like use my oil blotting sheets and then go back in with my powder just to touch things up I'll usually do one or the other but if I'm like going from school to work and I'm like super oily and don't have time to like change my makeup or redo my makeup I usually like to just touch it up with powder like I said going along with oil I like to keep some oil blotting sheets in my emergency kit and what I like about these clean and clear ones is that they pull out a new sheet like every time so you have like a little sticky thing and then when you open it up you get a brand new sheet and I use these because like I said I get really really oily um if you don't really get oily I probably wouldn't worry about these so it's kind of like personal preference like if you don't like looking like a grease ball and you want to touch up throughout the day I highly recommend keeping some oil blotting sheets because these have seriously saved my life because I can't tell you guys how, like sitting in a classroom even like on campus and stuff like the humidity in there and just like some of the rooms just make my skin so oily so I'll literally come out of like an hour class looking like a grease truck so I highly recommend these if your skin gets oily a lot oil blotting sheets are going to be your best friend this next thing that I have in my kit is kind of a given for any girl and that is hair ties because I cannot tell you guys how many times either friends ask me for a hair tie in class or at work or whatever or I've needed a hair tie and I haven't had one so I started this years ago keeping hair ties in my kit now usually um, nine times out of ten I'll wear a scrunchie on my wrist and that'll be a hair tie but I always like to keep some extra ones for those days when the hair is going cray cray so I just have some regular hair ties in here and then I also got these mini scrunchie hair ties that I got at Target. Also going along with hair um, instead of keeping like a hairbrush because obviously that's way too big now usually I'll have a hairbrush in my purse like a full size hairbrush but for being on the go if I don't happen to have my purse on me and I just have like my backpack or my emergency kit or if my emergency kit's just in my car I like to keep a wide tooth comb 
comb I think is what they call these or just like a teasing comb I don't really know but um I found that this is like easy enough just to kind of like comb through my hair really lightly because most of the time my hair doesn't get too crazy but this is good enough and serves enough purpose for me to like use it to help put my hair up in a bun or put my hair up in a ponytail and it's very slim so it's gonna kind of fit like on the side of your kit without taking up too much space so if you guys like to fix your hair a lot or like to make sure your hair is always on 10 I highly recommend keeping some sort of mini brush or comb in your emergency kit. The thing I have in here is gum and you guys probably if you're like me you probably keep a pack in your car a pack in your purse and a pack in your emergency kit or your backpack because you can never have enough gum because you know when you pull out a piece of gum it's literally like everyone's like can I have one so I always like to have extra gum because I like to give some to people and I'm super nice like that. So the next thing is more of like a personal hygiene thing I always like to keep some hand sanitizer are in my emergency kit because you're constantly using your hands at class or at work at wherever you might be um, I feel like my hands always get dirty when I'm at work especially when I'm in class because I'm just touching different things I'm passing papers or if you take like a lab you always want to make sure you have some hand sanitizer in case it's not convenient enough for you to go wash your hands like sometimes I can't wash my hands when I'm in the middle of doing something and I like to use hand sanitizer just to feel extra fresh and get any germs off my hands I kind of feel like that's a given like I feel like people keep many hand sanitizer sanitizers on their backpacks comment down below what you guys do do you keep it on your backpack or purse or do you like to keep it in your emergency kit let me know in the comments next item in here is obviously another given and that is tampons I'm a tampon user but if you guys are a pad user then keep your feminine products in your emergency kit because this is just a given because you never know when mother nature is going to come and surprise you so I always like to make sure I have at least two tampons in my kit at all times even if I know I'm not going to start my period like you never know how your body's going to react to certain situations or if you're going to randomly start bleeding so I highly recommend to keep some feminine hygiene products in your emergency kit for when that time comes because you don't want to be like me in seventh grade and bleed all over your white pants I'll link my period story time down below if you guys want to check that out next thing that I keep in my kit is just a lip balm this one that I have here is by Hemp's and I absolutely love it. It's their limited edition sweet pineapple and honey melon. I got this at Ulta if you guys are interested, but my lips are always staying chapped. Like if I don't have some sort of lip product or chapstick on my lips, I feel like I'm gonna go crazy. I love applying chapstick. I don't like crusty lips. I always like to have my lips feeling moisturized. I talk a lot throughout the day too and I feel like the more I talk, the more like dry my lips get so I always like to have lip balm on me to reapply throughout the day in my emergency kit. Next two things I have in here are also makeup related so if you aren't a makeup user you can disregard this but if you are for me personally I like to keep a mini concealer in my kit again you guys can get these at cash wraps like at Ulta or Sephora or if you guys do get like birch boxes or ipsy bags in the mail usually like they'll send like these little mini ones like I think this one for me came in an ipsy bag um, but I like to keep a mini concealer to do touch-ups throughout the day if need be if I am wearing some glam that day and then I also like to keep a mini mascara in my emergency kit now as of right now I do have eyelash extensions but for when I don't have my extensions I like to have mascara on me obviously to touch up my mascara or I can't tell you guys how many times I've walked out the house in the morning before I had lash extensions to like go to school or class and then gotten all the way to school only to realize that I don't have mascara on and like I don't know about you guys but if I don't have mascara on even if I'm not wearing any makeup I just feel like a naked mole rat like without mascara I don't know comment down below if you guys are makeup wearers do you feel naked if you don't have mascara on? For my lash extensions and also for my eyebrows, I like to keep a mini spoolie in my kit. Not only to brush out my lash extensions when I have them, but also to brush out my eyebrows in case I don't have any brow products on them that day and they get a little crazy because if I'm like like laying my hand on my head a lot and like messing up my lashes or eyebrows, I like to have this. That way I can kind of maintain the lashes sticking together and the crazy eyebrows. Next thing I have in my kit are some bobby pins and I highly recommend these like I said if you guys fix your hair a lot or if you know your hair goes crazy in the humidity and you're trying to maintain it or if you guys do buns a lot and you're trying to kind of keep the flyaways away. I found that bobby pins can actually kind of be used for a lot of different things like you can use bobby pins to unlock doors, you can use bobby pins in your hair. I mean I don't know what else people would use bobby pins for. You could use it like as a safety pin to hold something together if like a strap off your shirt has fallen off or something. I mean bobby pins are very versatile I feel like so I like to keep some in my kit because I never know when I might need one whether it's for my hair or something else. Next thing that I have in my kit also has to do with hygiene and that is deodorant. Now I know you guys can buy mini deodorants but let me just be real with y'all real quick. 
for years and years I've always had a sweating problem I've tried like prescription deodorants I've tried the super strong expensive women's deodorants from like Target and stuff like the antiperspirants I think is what they're called um I've literally tried everything and recently over the past two months I've switched to men's deodorant and I use the Old Spice long lasting pure sport high endurance deodorant and what I like about this one is that it's clear it's not like a white deodorant so it's not going to leave any marks so you can literally put this on in the middle of the day without worrying about having to get white marks on a black shirt that you're wearing so I've used this one and it works for me I don't sweat I don't smell it lasts all day and I find that I like to keep a full size in my purse because I'd rather sacrifice like having a full size in my purse than having a mini size deodorant from the women's section that I know doesn't really work well so this takes up most of the space in my kit but obviously you guys can find a deodorant that works for you I just thought I'd share that in case any of my fellow sisters out there had a sweating problem like me don't be scared to find like try men's deodorant and this one the pure sport that I have doesn't really smell like super manly which is what I like because I did was scared like I would smell too manly and it would be like a turn off but I really really like this one it has a nice smell um like I said I sacrificed it taking up a lot of room in my kit because I'd rather not be super sweaty. The next thing that I have in my emergency kit are band-aids and I keep these because I always like to have them in my kit in case I get a little paper cut or I cut my finger at work or just something crazy to wear someone else might not have a band-aid or I know when I was back in high school teachers would always like not want to give me band-aids because I would get a paper cut and they'd be like oh you're fine no need to go to the nurse and like I know some teachers or even some college professors don't keep band-aids like in their classrooms and you can't just like go to the nurse in college so I always like to keep these in my emergency kit also because sometimes I get blisters on the back of my heels if I have like a new pair of vans or a new pair of shoes so um highly recommend band-aids for emergencies like that so the next thing that I recommend <laughs> recommend okay we're done filming this video so the next thing that I recommend for you guys to keep in your kit and again this is kind of personal preference um I like to keep eye drops in my emergency kit I just have this one from the clear eyes brand for redness relief and I keep eye drops in my emergency kit only because I don't know about y'all but I struggle with really bad allergies like even in the winter time I just struggle with super red and itchy eyes and then in the springtime obviously all the pollen I usually benefit from having eye drops in my kit. So if you guys are like me and could use eye drops, I recommend keeping those in your kit for times when you need them because I know it can be super annoying, like just rubbing your eyes constantly. Kind of going along with like first aid with eye drops and band-aids and things like that. I also like to keep Neosporin in my kit because again, if you get like, like a decent enough cut to where it like blood enough to where maybe you'd want to put some neosporin on it this would kind of be beneficial to have in your kit so that's kind of like a first aid thing but i like to have that in mind next thing that i have in my kit is perfume and you guys know me i'm a perfume junkie i always like to keep some sort of body spray in my kit this one that i have here is one of my favorite scents from juicy couture it's viva la juicy and this is just like the mini spray on um i tried roller balls in the past but i just feel like the mini sprays are just so much faster and you can like spray them on your like your neck and your chest of your body rollerballs kind of like take more time for me because it takes forever for me to like get the perfume out so I really really like this one personal preference as to what you want to keep in your kit but I definitely recommend if you're someone that maybe has like gym class at school definitely definitely if you don't keep it in your gym locker keep like deodorant and perfume on you but the last and final two things that I have in my kit are kind of weird and kind of like personal things to me that I like to keep in my kit so the last second to last thing that I have is um a pair of tweezers and you're probably like Brianna why do you have tweezers um I have tweezers because I cannot tell you guys how many times I've like noticed that my eyebrows are looking crazy so I like to just like pluck some hairs or I mean I don't really know what else you'd use tweezers for but that's mainly what I use it for or if I like go to get my eyebrows done and she like maybe missed a few hairs I can just tweeze them myself um or I know some people like tweeze their nose hairs like I don't I don't personally have enough nose hair to do that but if you do maybe keep tweezers in here for that it kind of seems odd but then again I feel like they maybe could be used for something else like if you're trying to like I don't know get something out who knows but I just feel like tweezers are random but they could become in handy if you need them to and then the last thing that somebody just texted me I'm popular today hello it's my boo Madison if you're watching this Madison I love you so much you just texted me so I'm gonna give you a shout out in the video <laughs> um but the last thing I have in my kit are q-tips and I keep q-tips in my kit because yes we all get earwax I know that it's gross but I cannot tell you guys how many times I've just felt like I need to clean my ears like when I'm not at home or like in the shower and q-tips have always came in handy or if you're like applying lipstick and you're trying to get a mess up off or if you got mascara on your eyelid you can use q-tips for literally anything not just cleaning out your ears so um I keep q-tips 
tips because I find that I can use them when I mess up on my makeup or if I need to clean my ears out, vice versa. So yeah, that is everything that I keep in my back to school emergency kit for girls. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Comment down below what you guys keep in your emergency kit or if I didn't mention anything that you think would be beneficial to me to keep in mind. Let me know in the comments down below and we can all kind of share what we would keep in our emergency kits and build them that way. But I really genuinely hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Comment down below also what you guys would like to see in the coming videos for my back to school series and I will see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe and I love you guys all so much. Bye.